Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. Today I have a review of a pencil sharpener. It's the Jarlink Electric Pencil Sharpener, and I've been on the lookout for um, a pencil sharpener to recommend. I have had bet the best luck with my artist pencils using an electric sharpener. This is a sharpener I've been using for probably the last, I would say, seven years. It's a foray, which is, um, I think it's Office Max or Office Depot's brand. It plugs into the wall. It's really big and sturdy. And, and I liked it. Um, it has three different settings, for, one for really small pencils, like some of the budget pencils that are really skinny. Then it's got like your standard one, which has this ring around it. That would be like Prismacolors, your general number two pencils, you know, the regular ones. And then it has one that's a little bit bigger that would fit your Derwent pencils. This worked pretty well, um, but I have noticed it's gotten slower throughout the years, and I actually broke a chalk pastel pencil in here, and ever since that, we Jason did clean it out for me, and we got it working again. It just seemed like it was even slower. So um, this I'm going to retire, or at least put in my kind of... Um, a kind of backup area in case something happens to the one I'm going to recommend today. But um, this has served me well, but I couldn't recommend it because it was discontinued and I didn't know if they had um, a replacement or if the replacement was comparable. This is a brand new product, or at least it's, it's available <laughs> currently, so I know if you're watching this video around the time it comes out, you'll be able to find this. And it's also quite affordable. This is a plug-in sharpener. There's also a place for batteries, so I haven't tried this with the batteries because I honestly, I prefer to have my pencil sharpeners plug in. Although I did try one that I liked pretty well. Uh, it was the Office World brand, and um, I actually have that upstairs at my desk because I only have Prismacolors up there, but it's not as practical here because I still had to have this one plugged in for any of my larger, like, Derwent pencils. So it just wasn't that practical for me or most artists I know that tend to use a variety of different pencils. So this one was intriguing because it took six to eight millimeter size lids. Now, the folks at Jarlink did send this to me, and um, uh, the I guess it's the owner, the PR rep, Scarlett, she had mentioned that she liked my videos. I think she heard me complaining about... Um, not having like just one pencil sharpener that could do everything and she asked me if I'd like to try this out and um, I'm pretty happy with it. Now I've sharpened a variety of different pencils, both regular lead or uh, graphite pencils and uh, my artist pencils, my Derwent drawing, which are really soft and chunky, uh, Prismacolors, um, this harder Derwent signature pencil, which is an older line of Derwent's and I was getting really fantastic points on there. So uh, I was really impressed. And um, I know this noise might be a little annoying, but I do want to kind of go through sharpening a few of these with you and just give you the kind of um, uh, tips and tricks for it because it is a little different than other pencil sharpeners that I've used. So on the box, it does say um, it stop automatically at perfect point, but I don't think it stops. you got to stop it. So I've got a Color Soft here. Color Soft pencils by Derwent are very soft. They're almost as soft as Prismacolors. They might be as soft as Prismacolors. So I figured if it's going to break one, it's going to break this. And I'm going to go ahead. Now you, you can't just put it in. Like the Office World one I had, you put it in and it would grab it from you and it would do its thing. It didn't take these bigger pencils. But this you actually have to push and that's going to get it going. Oops, you know what? I just emptied the I just emptied the hopper. When you empty the hopper, you have to make sure that you've got the lid on perfectly or it's not going to go. There we go. You got to you'll feel it kind of catch into place. So if there. If that happens to you, it's you don't have the lid on, right? So this is after about 4 seconds. I've got a pretty good point. I found that um, 5 seconds usually gives me a needle sharp point. 3 seconds gives me the kind of the point I normally would use. So see, so you get a very, very sharp point there. I probably could go sharper, but with a with a color soft or a Prismacolor, I know if I do a needle point, it's just gonna it's just gonna sh like snap off. So this is one of my larger ones. This Derwent signature is also one of my larger pencils. It has a harder lid, so I can let that go to a needle point. So let's do five seconds here. One, two, three, four, five. And look at that. Now it did feel like the blade wanted to not engage when I hit about five seconds, so I think it it may it may eventually stop if you push the pencil in long enough. But um, I really hate to waste pencil lead. So did I show you that? Did you get a good enough look at that? Hopefully that. Let me put it up against the black box. Nice sharp point there. 
and fast, which is the issue I was having with my foray. It was just getting getting old and slow with age, like we all do. So this one, this Arteza, uh, Arteza has a firmer lead, uh, not quite as hard as a signature, but I'm gonna let this go until it stops, unless it seems like it's really excessive. If it's like over like six or eight seconds, I'll probably take it out, but. <laughs> So I'm gonna pull that out. Yeah, look, it did sharpen that quite a ways down. I do have a needle point, but you want to, you definitely want to like count in your head. I would say check it at three seconds, and then if you want it sharper than that, then do a couple more seconds because that did, like that did sharpen it down. So this is a Prismacolor. I know I don't want a needle point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in and count to three. This has the factory point on it, so you know it's gonna need to whittle down some of the wood. One, two, three. And see, that's about as sharp as I would want a Prismacolor, but if you wanted that needle point, like I mentioned, you'd go to five. Now this is a Brute Fooner. This is a little bit firmer than a Prismacolor, so let's do five seconds on this and see what we get. The uh, brand, the circumference of the pencil, though, the diameter is about the same as a Prismacolor, so we can compare those and uh, see how they look. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. And look at that, we get a nice long point there. I guess I could have probably done another second and um, and got it a little bit sharper, but that's probably about as sharp as I want. Now when it's time to empty, you wanna unplug the power. And it's just got like an AC adapter here. It should work, it's got, um, it's an AC adapter. It does have one of those little wall thingies you put in and it's got a USB cord on it. So you probably could just, you know, you probably could use that with whatever you're using. Um, that takes a USB type plug, but this has the, the plug in and everything. The Office World Sharpener I had had a cord that you could hook to a like a, a wall plug in like that, um, or your computer. It didn't have the two prong thing that would go into the wall. Does that make sense? It had the cord, but it didn't have the plug. Um, but this says it all. So when you want to empty it out, you just kind of turn it and lift. And this little, um, I think that little ridge there needs to push down on that little button in order for it to work. So it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to start it, even if it was plugged in. Um, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be able to start, but it says to unplug it anyway. And I'm just gonna dump this into my trash can off camera because my trash can is super gross. And that's all there is to it. And then when you put it back on, you just want to, I usually, I kind of put it in so the, um, the hole is like to the right of, of the hole inside where your pencil goes and then I just try to find my find my way here so that it will get in there and engage like that so there's no gap and let's try that let's sharpen something oh let's sharpen a durant drawing those are really big and those are really soft now this I mean this is probably as big as it's going to take one two three four five six we'll do six and see like this is giving a little struggle I could actually go a little bit more with that one There we go. Now, I would probably wouldn't recommend doing a needle fine point on a Derwent drawing pencil because it is so soft. But um, but yeah, I'm very impressed with uh, with the results I got with this. Um, hopefully, it holds up long term. I was just checking Amazon. These are they have them listed. They have a list price of thirty six dollars, but the price on Amazon is. $18 with free shipping and then there's a $3 off coupon so it would be like $15. So just to give you an idea of what it costs now, I base my, when I'm doing a review, I keep the price in mind. If this was $36, like it says it's regular prices, that seems a little bit pricey for the size of this and the power of it, but um, for $15 I would say absolutely give it a go. For under $20 I would say, I would say it's a good deal, but we'll see how long it holds up. Um, as of now, I'm really impressed with it. I feel like it's got the the it's got the size and speed of the Office World one that I did like, but it takes my larger pencils, so um, that works for me. I do think the Office World one's a little bit faster if speed is your number one concern and you only have small pencils. But I also heard from some other uh, reviewers that had that one that it was unreliable. Like some people would get a good one, some people would get a bad one. I guess that can go with anything, but. Um, but I'm, I really like this. It does have customer service information in the box. So if you do have an issue, you can contact them, which I like. So hopefully if there was any sort of problem, you could get it replaced. Plus it is, um, it's on Amazon with free returns. So I guess if you didn't like it, if it was, um, if it didn't work 
the way you thought it should, you shouldn't have a problem returning it because Amazon has the free returns thing there. But anyway, um, I'm really happy with it and I am glad that Scarlett contacted me to try this out because um, otherwise I'd be waiting 30 seconds per pencil <laughs> to sharpen on my old, my trusty old one or using a handheld one which tends to break my leads. Um, I think the reason why the electric sharpeners don't break my leads is because I'm holding the pencil steady and stable and the blades are grinding or are going around the pencil lead and grinding it so you're not like cranking and risking rocking and snapping the lead. Um, that's my that's my theory anyway. I know some people will turn the pencil sharpener and not the pencil, but uh, I find that very cumbersome. I don't like to do that and uh, this works well for me. So I hope you found it helpful. I hope it is just the thing that will work for you too. And I like that it's plug in because then I don't have to replace batteries or remind uh, remember to charge it. Uh, so that's another bonus for me anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review. Until next time, happy crafting.